Ah, I found my leak. Wouldn't it be great if there was a compressed airflow meter that could monitor usage and leakage? Hmm. I got it. Compressed airflow meters coming up next on Tech Review. You know, many industrial facilities use some form of compressed air for the operation of pneumatic controls. Well, since the air is free, no one got too excited about monitoring it until they started looking at the cost of generating and the efficiencies of a compressed air system. Mm-hmm. Ka-ching. That's right. As always, it comes down to money and saving energy. Needless to say, monitoring compressed air has become a very, very, very popular application. Unfortunately, as of today, there's not a clamp-on ultrasonic flow meter solution that works well on low-pressure compressed air applications. Mm -hmm. Because if I had a clamp-on ultrasonic flow meter that worked on low-pressure compressed air, I would be so rich I'd be living on my private island in the tropics. So, we will need to use an invasive technology to monitor compressed air flow in pipes. One solution is to use a CDI thermal mass flow meter. Mm -hmm. Now, this technology works by sensing the temperature of air in a pipe and the amount of heat required to maintain a heated sensor at a fixed temperature difference above the air temperature to determine flow. Hmm, complicated. Well, let's take a look. The CDI flow meters are pipe size specific. This one is for an inch and a half Schedule 40 anti pipe. Now, let's remove these mounting clamps so we can get a better view of what's going on inside. In this example, we have two probes, the temperature sensor and the velocity sensor. The temperature sensor, which measures the compressed air temperature inside the pipe as a reference. The velocity sensor is heated continuously so that a predefined temperature differential is maintained between the two probes. So, when flow passes, heat is drawn from the heated probe senses this change in differential, so more current is sent to heat up the velocity sensor to maintain the constant temperature differential. As the flow increases, the current increases to heat up the probe, which is proportional and is used to calculate mass flow. So, if you want to get deeper into the math, I suggest you Google King's Law on Thermal Dispersion Mass Flow. To install the CDI clamp-on series flow meter, you will need to insert two probes into a pipe through small drill holes. Depending on the meter size, the probes are mounted in one of two rings, and the rings clamp around and seal to the pipe. So, the installation consists of drilling two holes using a recommended drill guide and clamping the meter in place. Then you apply the power. Each meter is designed and calibrated for a specific size and type of pipe. So, no adjustment or configuration is required during the installation. The meters have large bright LED displays, 4 to 20 milliamp and pulse outputs. In addition, you can have optional wired or wireless serial outputs for networking. If you're doing a survey, you can also add a data logger to the 4 to 20 milliamp output for data collection. Performed properly, these meters should be installed where the air is free of oil and water droplets. And for optimum performance, install with 20 pipe diameters of straight run of pipe upstream of the meter. Mm -hmm. Now, the CDI series meter is a clamp on for compressed air or nitrogen. And as we indicated, it measures mass flow by thermal dispersion. They are CE certified and ROS compliant. The CDI 5200 series is available in pipe sizes a half inch to an inch and a half, 
and it works on air temperature from 20 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Maximum pressure, 200 PSI. Easy to install, just use the 5200 size drill guide to correctly locate the two insertion holes and clamp it on so it seals to the pipe without leakage. Now, for larger line sizes, the CVI 5400 series works on pipe sizes 2 to 8 inches. Should you need meters for IP66 rating, suitable for wet locations, then you can use the CDI 6000 series. Now the CDI 6200 is for pipe sizes half to one and a half inches, and the CDI 6400 is for pipe sizes two to eight inches. The CDI also has a few specialty meters. The CDI 5100 series, small pipe inline meter for three eighth and a half inch, the CDI 5450 hot tap installation for pipe sizes 2 to 8 inches, and the CDI 25 point of use flow meter, which is designed for alarm functions for leakage and excessive uses applications. Mm -hmm. So, in summary, monitoring your facility's compressed air is an energy smart thing to do. And based on our testing and customer feedback, it appears that the CDI flow meter is the right flow meter for your compressed air applications. So, I guess it's time for you to start monitoring your facility's compressed air usage, flow, and leak detection. Mm hmm Well, so much for my invention of the compressed air leak detection tool. Anyway, thank you for watching our program. And as always, for more information on compressed air flow meters, Check it out in the show links listed below. And of course, you can always visit us at instrumentsdirect.com. Mm -hmm. So, if you enjoyed our program, I suggest you subscribe to our channel for updates on new videos. Mm -hmm. And as always, we would appreciate any suggestions of technology that we should include in our tech review program. Well, this has been Brent Baird for Instruments Direct. We'll see you next time. Boy, do I like pinwheels. They're so much fun.